people. Mom, I'm recording. Okay. Dang, I need more light. Okay, that's good enough. In this video, I'm going to be showing you my drum setup. For when I practice, I'm playing the guy, so here's my guitar. There's a black case here. Um, and let me just take it off of the case. Um, so hold on my guitar pack because the case doesn't have a lot of pouches at this menu. It's going to be container to come hang out of it. Mostly out because the case smells like crap. And, uh, yeah. I put my guitar pack in it. But let me get out my guitar here. Uh, bye Yamaha. The model is a uh, Yamaha SG Junior JR1. And uh, here it is. It's a three quarter size guitar. It's a three quarter size guitar. Um, if any people have ever heard of the band 10,000 Maniacs, I actually have two books in them. Here's the main guitar effect, because my dad did some work for them um, a few weeks ago. Uh, they're also like guitarist picks, and they also have a uh, guitar pick from the uh, bass player. Uh, here's the main thing. This guitar pick looks a little different. It's thicker than a normal pick. And I don't know how to do And then I have some guitars in the case and stuff, you know. Well, do a guitar player, I always have like a bajillion picks on hand. I know you're a good guitar player if you have like a bajillion picks in your case. Like, that you can use all these rather than those. And then also there's this band called Clear. They're looking after I know I'm gonna choose Clear. And then that looks like just a guitar signature. Um, I actually have three of those clear effects. But I uh, Okay. Jesus, I'm showing you more. I'm showing you. I'm taking more time to show you the picture than the guitar. But uh, yeah, here's my guitar. I'm gonna lay it down here. Here it is. Um. Now, unlike most of the guitars, it actually has a point for a uh, strap right up there. And you can see the neck of the guitar is right here. And then there's also one on the bottom as well. And then the strap actually came with it. I literally got this guitar today. It's just a black strap. I literally got this guitar today, guys. Three quarter size, like I said. Three quarter size. I believe it doesn't fit because I'm just tape up here. Okay, here's the strap. Depending on if you're a righty or a lefty. Um, it depends on whether you're a righty or whether you're a lefty. The neck of the guitar, and um, right up here, near the tuning keys, if you're a lefty, then you want to put it um, under the first 
string, above the second string, and under the third string. And if you're writing like me, or you could do it on on any strings. I find it easier because I can just grab out with my right hand and then start playing. Lefty, lefty flip, uh, but we're on the top. Um, the top boom, grab out, start playing. Obviously, I'm not lefty. I'm righty. Um, not obviously, but yeah. Um, and then we just, I like to put under the sixth and push it up above the fifth and push it back down under the fourth and that holds it in place and it's not going anywhere but it can slide out but I mean we're just storing in a case you're going to have a problem now for what I use to actually uh, hold the stuff that I play I just found my third base uh Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Just move around my setup here, guys. Bear with me here. Okay, that lighting is way better. Here's my stand. It's just a little, uh, foldable thing here. So you pull it, like, all the way out. And it clicks. And then, uh, for this model, on do that knob there for that bar for it to come up. We sit down on the ground. That's how firm it is. It's barely. And then you take this down here, twist it a little bit. Don't twist it too much because this is going to have to be twisted. Tighten it. Back up and then pull these out. Push these up there. I'll put that right here. And put this right here. Boom, that's why you put your music on. Now, for me, if I'm sitting down, um, my chair level is probably about here. And then, my chair is probably about here. Oh my god. My chair, the seat is probably right about here. So it's going to have to be higher. I take this knob right here. Again, loosen it. It doesn't need too much. And I lift it up. I lift it up so I'm still going to down. Three feet tall. I want to say guys. And also a toy musket here. I know it doesn't have an arm safety there at all. But it's a toy trust. Um I like to get it just um 
taller than this, and I put this on the back. This here, I'll show you guys. I put this right here. I just have it about an inch or two. About an inch or two, um, below this part right here. I'm uh, sorry if I'm like looking over there. I have an extra monitor to the side because my laptop um monitor broke. But all the other stuff still worked. So it kinda makes it inconvenient to make webcam videos because I have to be like, mm, to check it. If you're wondering why I keep doing that, that's why. But yeah, I like to keep it on an inch or two above that. For my chair. I'll go my chair. Dining room chair. Normal dining table. Oh yeah, I see the chair is about. Well, it's not here. This is really hard to walk high because if I'm really from over there, then. huge and then in a comfortable position because I can just take it out, you know, do all the finger exercises. music up there and uh yeah just Playing guitar. Um. Oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Tip: When you're playing guitar, um, when we're doing guitar on um, chord changes, if you take guitar, then obviously you're already on this. But when you're doing different frets, I'll put your finger right, um, right above where the fret is. So if you put that down, I'm going to put on the fret. I won't come right before that. And you saw what I was doing, I was doing different chords, I was going like. And you want to match on the fret up with your finger, and once it gets four, once you get to the fourth fret down here, on the fifth. Never let 
I've fallen in the sound hole. That's happened. Oh, I'm over there. That's happened many times for me. Never let fall in this sound hole. Because then you'll spend 20 minutes trying to get it out. Um. And yeah, also, um, I mean, acoustic, you always want to play right above the sound hole, because if you're playing up here, if you're playing up here, you're going to really try and move. Here, I'm going to hook up my mic here, so I can tell you what it sounds like. It's going to make a big difference, guys. Trust me. Even if you don't play guitar, you'll know. And I uh, literally like jumped out this guitar like an hour ago. An hour ago, I was so, like, yeah, yeah, about two hours ago. So it came out when I was at school, and I went home and I was like, yeah, my guitar came, came for that. And my mom raided the box to see if it wasn't. Yeah, I'm going to put in a microphone here and show you what it sounds like. 